Hi guys, so in today's video we are taking a look at some new gameplay footage that was featured on this week's live stream. If you are unaware, the Battle for Neighborville dev team have been streaming every Thursday, 11am Pacific time, giving us details of what's to come each week. Just before we start, a quick reminder to hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the content you see on this channel. So we were given a short segment of gameplay of the Zombies Town Center. So this is a partially new PVE area. Obviously the plants have Town Center, but the zombie side is set at night, as you'd expect. And there are going to be new missions to complete. They showed off one where some zombies had been put in cages because for some reason they want grains, not brains. Um, they've said there'll be a new boss and all the chests have been placed in different spots. There are also some changes to the map, so it's not just a carbon copy of the plants town centre. However, it has been confirmed that there will be no new gnomes added. So if you have already found the gnomes in the plants town centre, you don't have to do it again with the zombies. This seems to suggest that we'll be be expecting more PVE areas for both sides so I'm guessing the plants will get to go to weirding woods and the zombies to Mount Steep etc. Um, there are also some other interesting things in the zombie town center such as some mushrooms that if you get too close to them they affect your vision. Um, I have to say from what they did show off in the stream uh, of the zombies town center I think I actually preferred the visuals of the town at night. I just love all the neon lights and stuff and it just looks more aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. We also got to see some of the costume rewards that can be earned in the Zombies Town Centre. This includes the Big Boom set for Captain Deadbeard, the Zebling Rancher set for Electric Slide, the Rubbish Ranger for the Foot Soldier, and Imp Cab Express for the Imp. Anyway guys, that's about it for this video, but I just wanted to remind you that the Lawn of Doom Festival starts on Tuesday, October the 1st, so stay tuned as I'll be covering that as soon as possible. Right, so I hope you enjoyed and I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Bye.